it looked like a funeral. It didn't look like anything of like, we're introducing the biggest acquisition in the history of the team. It did not look we, like It didn't that. look like we're <laughs> introducing the not, highest paid yeah. player in the history of the game. It's not a happy moment. It, we aren't introducing the newest member of the community that you are going to love to meet. Yeah. It didn't look anything like that. It looked like a funeral. And part of that has to be because Deshaun Watson hasn't said a word publicly. Like you forgot what his voice sounded like. A lot of that may be, you know, forced by his lawyer to don't say anything. But it's also, you know, hey, the um, situation that you have created that has been created around you, but you also uh, let um, the void be filled by the one question that I keep coming back to, and I'm somebody who is all team Deshaun Watson from the minute he started playing at Clemson to the minute I got to interview him to the minute I first met him to the minute I started watching him do what he did when he showed up in Houston and gave his first paycheck to the people who were ravaged by the hurricane that damn near blew the town down and flooded them out to everything that he did in every single way that he conducted himself and Absolutely on team Deshaun Watson when he said, I don't want to play for the Houston Texans anymore because I don't like the way things are done around here. And then all holy heck broke loose with all of the civil suits that were slapped on him and all of the questions about his criminal liability that have been out there all the way up until last week and this week when two different grand juries Two different entities had an opportunity to leave him criminally charged and both declined to do so. And with all of this, there's always been one question that has remained for me that I said earlier in the week I hoped would be asked at his press conference, and apparently it was. Why so many masseuses. Why? Because it goes to a lot of whether these civil cases are viable. Why? What's up with that? I know so many athletes. They, you know, when somebody touches their body, it's, you know, a temple. Like, you got to know their body. They, you've got to know them. They have to know you. Like, this is the way it works. And when you find somebody who works on you and gets it right, you don't leave them for life. (laughs) Like, that's your guy or your gal. Like, that's your person. What's up with all of those masseuses? Apparently, that was asked of him. And here's the I have not heard the answer. I've read it. I look forward to hearing it. I'm going to go back to... 40 uh, massage people. So if why why not just find one you really like and and stick with that person? 40 just seems like so many. Well, I never as a far as a team um, and and then when I say team, I'm not saying the Cleveland Browns, but my agency and things like that. Uh, 40 is just over the time. It's not in one period of time. I've been in Houston for five years, so you go to different people, and that's just how, like I said before, I can't get too far into the details, but you know, as businesses work and you move and meet different people and people have different schedules and blocks, you kind of meet people over time. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's not a satisfactory answer. It's just... And again, it sounds like somebody who is trying to avoid giving you the straight answer. I got to be honest with you. And I'm rooting for this guy to be the guy who I thought he was or could believe again he is and wants us to believe he's always been. Saying that he's not going to seek, he hasn't sought any counseling or anything like that. He's not going to settle any of these lawsuits at all because he wants them discussed. And all I'm saying to the Browns is... I guess you're going to have a a guy who's going to go through all of this with you. He's your starting quarterback and all of this guaranteed money going to him. And this will continue to still linger out there as an open-ended question in a civil case. And he's going to be, what, 
giving depositions during Pittsburgh week and during Bengals week and things like that. You know, I, I, I I don't know what to say. Yeah, I also uh, think other than the Rich fact is... that 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 answer doesn't answer. Like you meet people, you go around, and it's just like right. So you you try one, you get another, then you get another, and then suddenly there's thirty seven more, and that gives uh, all of us, you know, to Watson's camp. It gives a lot of people pause of well. Sure, some of those who are suing him may be in it for the money, and some of them may be in it for the fame, but some of them may be in it because they're telling the truth. That's what's lingering out there. That's what needs to be addressed. Albeit not for the Cleveland Browns. And, um, you know, once this gets to be playing time, and he's out there, we in the media will absolutely be talking about Deshaun Watson, the quarterback, and what's it mean for the Browns. And and if if this does, it, folks, I'm telling you, and, and Watson's well-intentioned, you know, agents and, and, you know, inner circle and family members who love him, and be ready for it. Because if this does reach the ultimate for the Browns, which is what they're hoping for with $230 million guaranteed dollars for an insanely talented quarterback, Super Bowl week, when he's there, get ready. Get ready. It's going to be brought up again as long as it still is an open case and even when Roethlisberger stepped away and retired, part of the conversation about his legacy is what happened Mm -hmm. with him in his career off the field, allegedly. When he retired, walking down the hallway with his beautiful family, people were even thinking about that. I think, too, with that answer specifically, Rich, and as you mentioned earlier, we haven't heard him speak in well over a year he had this long amount of time to figure out that his team had to have known this question was coming or he was going to have to answer a question similar to this, and that was the response? Right. Just jumbled words and totally unconvincing and unsatisfactory. Well, again, uh, unless he, the, you know, there's really no answer for it, which is what the impression is. Hey man, that's a, and that's why I guess you're looking up and seeing a funeral. I mean that 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 right there, that exchange to me boils it all down. I didn't even hear or see the rest of it. I don't know if we have any other. Okay, let's let's hear what's the uh, the thing again. We're we're on the fly here. This is the addressing the allegations. Okay, let's hear. I understand the whole circumstances is very difficult, especially for the 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 women's side of the fans in this community. Um, I'm not naive to that. I know these allegations is very, very serious. But I, like I've mentioned before, I've never assaulted any woman. I never disrespected any woman. I was raised by a single parent mom who has two aunties who's her sister. And that's who, that's who raised me. I was raised to be genuine and respect everyone and everything around me. So I've, all, I've always defended that and I will continue to stand on that. And I just want the opportunity to be able to show who I really am in the community and be hands-on and help people and serve other people. Well, he's going to get that opportunity because the Browns are giving it to him. So we will see that. And that's part of who he's been. I mean, that, you know, that's, that I, that and, struck me as a, a more genuine. Than, I know that's the, the guy I fell in love answer, with yeah. the minute he came off the campus yeah. of Clemson. But again, you know, to say he never disrespected anybody, there's 20, it's just a, that again, that's why I keep going back to yeah. the number the number. And, you know, the answer to that could be, well, from their camp, I imagine, well, it's it's a, a litigious lawyer who's trying to make a name, trying to make a buck on my name, and uh, everyone's a liar. And he does have on his, you know, side of the ledger, um, two opportunities had by authorities to charge him criminally, and neither did it. 
So it happened. Again, I always thought, call me naive, he would have to do this first in order for NFL teams to come in his direction and then just acquire him on the contract he already had. But I guess shame on me because what ended up happening is once the original first criminal grand jury, the first grand jury that was criminally investigating him declined to advance all the teams were all in or four teams were all in and then not only did he wind up signing a contract before having to explain what this is all about from his perspective he gets the most lucrative guaranteed lucrative unprecedented contract in the history of the nfl during national Women's Month in the United States of America and the NFL. So now I guess we find out what the Haslam's have to say later since they are the ones who are bestowing him this opportunity, bestowing him with this opportunity and this contract. And I will definitely this fall be all in and talking about the Cleveland Browns and their opportunities in the AFC North and the football aspect of this, and the first game that Deshaun Watson plays will be must-see television, and I you know, don't know when that will be because even the Browns and his representatives got together and financially structured this knowing that a suspension was coming, so the finances are back-ended, it appears. Cap numbers are back-ended more. So... They're all fully expecting him not to have all 16 games or 17. I knew I'd be doing that under his belt this fall. And we'll be talking about it. But I will always be wondering about why so many masseuses. We might learn more if he's not settling any of these cases. And I'm one of the biggest advocates of him that I know of because of how he came into this league, how he conducted himself in this league up until this was known, and um, and what he, what he came into this league with, and who he was when I met him, and came across as. And I, I'm, 